Hi, my friends and family. It's me, Trey Smith, and this is my YouTube and Odyssey channel, Trey Smith's Tube. My daily ritual, Trey's timeless 15 minutes of explain. Today, my talk is called Our Tyrants on Permanent Awareness Lockdown. We've come too far to give up thus far. No matter what the deceiver does, I'm still going to tell the truth and the myth of love to it all. So I'll spend the whole day funky. I'll spend the whole day stoned. I can sail like a monkey just to let me feel at home. Is it the end or the beginning? Or how about another ending? Or how about when you know true love is never ending? I got it wrong. Cause I thought you know. The fakest and cruelest gods of all. Are so sure that they stole it all. In this war in the sky in your body so... Listen all y'all, it's the sabotage. Can't understand it. You know they planned it. I'ma set it straight, this water gate. You wanna take it all and destroy us with this nano encrusted rain, lies, and fear and hate. Well, maybe because for you inverted ones, it's just too late. Listen all y'all, it's sabotage. <laughs> Wilson, listen all y'all, it's sabotage. Are, term are tyrants on permanent awareness lockdown? Like, they'll never get out of it. It's a sad state of affairs when you have to deal in your daily life with tyrants and abusive people, psychopaths, narcissistic predators. And narcissistic predator entities and your friends' ego on a daily basis where you have to work with them or live with them, pay them rent, property tax, you beg them for money or give them money or whatever it is. You see, yesterday I tried to uh, go back to a customary spot within the city of Santa Cruz, California, to upload. And interestingly enough, archetypally, uh, due to the ownership, this uh, location certainly had, in more than one ways, connections to the uh, dark side as well as the, the light side and that they were tolerating me and bringing a lot of wonderful healthy products to the town. However, the question I have, if anyone out there knows the answer, is this, does this company called Cruzio have a direct line to the deceiver or the what we call uh, the Decepticons or the Rothschild Mansion over here? Do they have to... Uh, to answer to the big boys directly? Is that the reason? When after 222 videos exposing the truth of this world, the deceptions and the bullshit uh, from a tent in the Santa Cruz Mountains, they finally discovered me. <laughs> and without them um, actually destroying my physical body or getting rid of me by some kind of other types of punishment. Um, it was easy as pie, easiest thing for everyone for them to just not allow me on. And is this because I had 222 episodes about expanding your mind out of their control? I was shadow banned. Um, for, so for three days this last week, I've not been allowed access unless I... I guess certain strategic locations possibly um, 
Could this possibly be related to me distributing little paper advertisements for the show? The Santa Cruz Illuminati. Um, is this a good example of their fake-ass control? Or re it's actually their real control on, on the local level through other people being fake enough to just do what they say through bribes or threats. As I said before, I made a chant, lockstep was made of bribes and threats. So, control freaks only care about their control. It's not even about hurting me, it's about their control. It seems to be everything is about their control. Okay, so, um, in their mind. So, you must, they must keep you in line. Um, I'm right at, almost adjacent to UCSC here. The Santa Cruz U and UCSC region in particular, it uh, really meets the qualifications or criterion for the classic um, psychotic cult abuse, you know, um, where they would isolate you, isolation, and they use mind control. Some of these professors... Um, Naturally, they don't want to let me online after I've exposed this kind of thing 12 times or whatever. The the tyrannical inverted Illuminati in charge. Um, it seems to be um, inf influencing why I've seldom tried to have material power or participate in this mun municipality called Santa Cruz. I mean, when you look at what happened to Drew Glover... I mean, they say he was verbally abusive or chauvinistic to the women, but I think... I actually went to a Santa Cruz City Council meeting where he was still in it, and he was trying to expose their um, their shadow play. He was trying to to bring them bring them to transparency, which is of course the last thing pe pe um, council members that take bribes would want to do. So they they you know they got him kicked out through petitions. So when you see what happens to people when they try to openly do good in this community, like I say, they just got rid of like five community houses in the last five years at least. It's like discouraging to try to participate because it's so, um, as I've said to my friends, um, this is conquered land. I'm just visiting Santa Cruz for 20 years almost. Unfortunately, that's the, the flavor of the, this, the fault line, the San Andreas fault line, and the curse of Santa Cruz, and the so-called cost of living and housing competition all mixed together, certainly makes me feel like uh, I'm just passing through, you know, for 20 years. So... Santa Cruz um, really, in a lot of ways, is the embodiment of the hijack of the t tyrants of this planet, um, the archons and the demiurge forces of, you know, perhaps Yahweh, and uh, but certainly the demiurge, the archons, and the Illuminati forces in particular. Um, this town embodies their, um, <clears throat> their way of being, particularly since um, the mission Santa Cruz was a Libra, um, when they killed off all the natives who wouldn't convert Catholicism. And then the city of Santa Cruz, the astrologers working with the officiales back then in 1866, they knew what they were doing. By making the city an Aries, they blew up the curse and the blessings to make this um, county extremely, way more <clears throat> materially and spiritually blessed and cursed, socially cursed. Because they knew that that was going to, um, blow up everything. So, yeah, this doesn't really help much, huh? So, so all this bullshit um, that thinks it rules the world and this town has helped me to learn who I am as I said in Joe Vitale's 
formula for success uh, is the number one or second rule to to know who I am not. Heoka is not inherently a bullshit artist or a contrarian is not actually someone who just wants to talk shit. It's someone who wants to tell the truth in an inverted ass world like this. So this is why the dark thinks I cannot exist. You know, I can't even go online. Um, <clears throat> shadow ban. Because the full truth is threatening. Even though I'm all, nearly 50 people are subscribed, they won't be allowed to watch every video unless they type in my name or remember to type in my name. Apparently, that's how it works, I'm guessing. Um, and at this point, um, the city uh, that the... the Official Illuminati free internet access. Cruzio is not going to let me on, I guess. And so, um, it's threatening to people to think that you could have a YouTube channel without having to pay rent, or that some person who's financially dependent could start learning how to help other people on YouTube through their tent. For some reason, that, that alone is threatening. You know, Lucifer is a complete idiot when it comes to morality or self-respect. And this has just been proven over and over again, especially with the invention of this narcissistic predator entity force in people's subconscious when they obey uh, Lucifer. You know, they always act like an idiot. Um, so, waking up to the Christ inside of you is a Gnostic job. You know, an inside job. You have to do it, as I've said many times. Yeshua, the Jesus Christ, said, "You, you will do greater than me, another, or you will do greater than I have done." So they never emphasized that, but I don't know if they left it in or. But ye shall do greater things than I have done is what I think it was. So but we live in a contracted reality, or some of you do. Like if I don't sign the contract then I'm blackballed or I'm not considered to be human by the people that, you know, will try to influence you to make decisions. So again, it's always about personal integrity and responsibility, everything. And um, the 1% really just don't have that. I mean, obviously, I think they're slaves to something much more dark than them, which is one of the reasons I make these videos to bring awareness of all of this. So you have to look at the mandala, like the Buddhist mandala of these deceptive things deceptions and holograms and see the big picture this is always an essential um, <clears throat> will tyrants remain on permanent awareness lockdown unless they you know unless they get real with the, the holy ghost they, they can't um, really see what the hell they're doing i mean they they throw hell around and pretend like it's divine their divine right whether they're in anunnaki blood draco blood there's a lot of human hybrids that, are, that have their blood, their Anunnaki, and as well as the Draco blood, who for sure, 105%, feel they have the right to rule you. I mean, some of them I could give my little paper with my channel and they act all interested, they'll never watch it. You know, not that I'm being judgmental, but it's against their, um, their mandala. So when you start to see the patterns, when you realize that these tyrants... You know, unless they wake up to the real creator, are going to remain on permanent awareness lockdown. You see why they have to thoroughly maintain the illusion of separation. It's in their contract. It's in their fake ass reality. And um, when I did a restart or when I did a system check on my internet connection yesterday, it said. After I did a, a full hour long um, restart, it said a few days ago, it said, we found nothing wrong with your connection. Is this proof positive that the deceivers people working at Cruzio or just simply, or the AI demons, whatever you want to call it, are simply you know, the dark side or simply not going to let me online in Santa Cruz because of the content I produce? Is Trey's myths, um, is Trey's myths show, will it be cool? Is Trey's Myths a LAD lad? Will it be cool then? Will it be cool after? Will it be liked after death? 
If you like this now, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and tell me, give me a comment if you want. And create a great one if you can. And I got another page of notes on this subject.